here, my name is Mary, and welcome to my channel, Mary Making Crafts. In today's video, I'm going to be doing my third and final unboxing of the three Deminar Club Halloween kits that I chose to pick up this year. So these were part of a Halloween pre-order. My understanding, uh, none of these are still in stock, but um, this was my third one that I chose, and it might just be a save the best for last moment because this one I think is my favorite which is really silly because usually I don't go for images like this but this one is called a Halloween gnome it's by Lori for now I'm obsessed with it I love everything about it um I think the only thing that I don't love is that there's a gnome um I'm not usually a gnome kind of gal but I just loved everything else in the the image I'm just obsessed anyway so this one is a nice uh, you know manageable size it's fairly small it's 17 inches by 22 inches or 42 centimeters by 55 centimeters so really great manageable size so this one is square drills and I think we should get into it what do you think I'm gonna go ahead we'll just we'll just cut into that plastic because I just, you know, tearing into it for me just never works. <laughs> so first we're going to have a look inside our box. We'll look at our toolkit first. And then, of course, whoops, we'll look at our dust cover bag. There we go. Goodness. I haven't ripped a box before. <laughs> so we have our toolkit and our dust cover bag that we just talked about. And then there it is. So I'll set that up there for now. And we have our little sticker here. This one is, uh, what whatever you wanna use this for is up to you. Uh, <laughs> I like to use this on my, uh, goodness gracious, on my, I'm distracted. I have texts coming in left and right. It's, it's just been a long day. Anyway, <laughs> so this, I use this on the outside of my boxes, but you can use this in your logbook or wherever you need a sticker, okay? You do with that whatever you wish. I'm gonna go ahead and have a look inside this toolkit. Just FYI, you don't have to rip the top off here. You can just open it up like that. And hang on a sec and we'll take a look inside. First up, we have our tray and we have a little stopper in here. So that will keep your drills from falling out when you are shaking your tray. We also have a pen, some little sparkles in there, and a matching squishy or comfort grip, but your pen might not match mine. To go on the end of this pen here, you also have your multi-placers. You have a four placer and a seven your four and your seven so you can use these to place multiple diamonds at one time lots of flip-flop action there we also have our diamond art club wax two pads of wax there don't forget to take your plastic off i always give that gentle reminder <laughs> i only say that because you know, I tried to stab it once with it, <laughs> with the plastic still on it. We also have a bag of baggies here. You can use this to kit up your diamond painting, although I would recommend some drill storage options. I have a drill storage video and I'll link it right up here. Um, but I would recommend some drill storage options. Uh, otherwise, you can use these to kit down your painting too and store your extra drills when you're finished. We also have some washi tape here. And if you're not sure how to use this for your diamond painting, I have a video. <laughs> you could check it out right up here. Uh, yeah, this one's really cute. Just some little polka dots going on there. I like it. I'm here for it. Put that back together there. And then last but not least, we have our cover minder. Now, your cover minder will usually have some magnets on the back of it. And this is the second defective cover minder that I've had. And we just have a cute little bear here and no magnets. And um, as far as I recall, I'm like kind of looking around here. Yeah, there's no magnets in this little bag. So he's just hanging out. But typically what you would do is you've got a magnet on the back of here. 
and then you would have a magnet on the back of that and you'd peel that magnet off and put it underneath your canvas and then set that one right on top there. So bummer for no magnet because that one's really cute. Anyway, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up and then we'll take a look inside the dust cover bag. Okay, let's take a look inside. In addition to your canvas, we're also gonna have our drills inside this bag, as well as, come on, <laughs> I'm like, hello. This is really wedged in there. There we go. So in addition to your drills, we're also gonna have some inserts in here. So just working on getting those out. There we go. And we have our bag of drills. It is always appropriately labeled. So if you decide to store your kits separately, you can absolutely do that. We have our insert from Diamond Art Club. 20% off your first purchase in the app. Definitely take advantage of that. And then there's just information in here about how to diamond paint and a code to go to the VIP Facebook group, see what people in the community are up to. If you are not part of their rewards program, I highly recommend that as well. And then last, we have our cute little, little logbook sticker. So this is a, I like to use this for my logbook because it has the start and end date, but you can do whatever you want. Actually, what I do with this um, before I put it in my logbook is I will cut these individual stickers off. So these here are individual and you can use them to kit up your painting. And I use this section over here to just store it with my um, kitted up painting so I know what kit that is. Anyway, um, with each of these, uh, you'll get like these individual stickers. And you can see that this one has 45 colors and every number underneath the one, underneath 150 is known as an AB drill. So what that means, this kit has five of them. They are just kind of a special iridescent coating that you see on your, on your drills. So we'll look at that here in just a few minutes when we look at the, when we look at the drills individually. But first, I want to take a look at the canvas and I'm sure you do too. <laughs> so really quickly, I am just rolling this backwards so that it will lay flat when we take a look. And one thing I just want to mention, I like to bring this up when I think about it, um, is down here at the bottom of the canvas, just at the bottom left of the canvas, you always have your licensing information from Diamond Art Club. And what that says is that this image is copyrighted by Lori Furno, and that Diamond Art Club is fairly compensating that artist for the use of her artwork in their diamond paintings. So I really love that. I feel like it brings us a lot, us as diamond painters, a lot of awareness as to the fact that, you know, artists are out there and they're putting out all this beautiful artwork for us to be able to do these adorable diamond paintings like this one. Oh my, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. It's the cat and the pumpkins for me. Like, it's everything. It's really just, it's all of it. And this cat too. I love them all. It's so stinking cute. I'm a sucker <laughs> for cute artwork like this. And this one is no exception. I absolutely love it. I love it. So I have already, I've already like, got it in my head that this is the first this is the first Halloween painting I will be doing next year <laughs> like no ifs ands or buts about it this will be the first Halloween painting I do next year so I'm gonna go ahead we'll take a look at the drills and then we'll look at the AB placement starting us off strong we have 550 my favorite purple 3806 740 208 three bags of 310 and I can see that because there is a lot of outlining here uh, all in black so that makes sense 741 3607 3340 that is a really cool orange it um looks very melon orange to me as does the one next to it 351 327 553 and 3837 Hard to see that there, but that's that's what it says, I promise. <laughs> Next up, we have 415, 
321, 100, our first AB, kind of a sage green there. You could see the iridescent coating. 3855, 938, 3776, 762, 131, our second AB, light orange. 301, 400, 141, our third AB, a white. 377, 377, 33, 71, 154, 945, 300, 606, 666. And then our final two ABs, a peach, it's 104, and a light yellow, 129. And then for our final strand here, we have some, some parallelogram shaped bags that must have just gone through the feeder, just a little crooked or something. Um, rhombus shaped, if you will. Uh, we have 937, 718, 3835, 470, 554, 469, and 209. So that is the last of our drills. Let's take a look at where the ABs go. All right, y'all. I have to say that relative to the size of this canvas, this has a ton of ABs in it like a ton. So I just went ahead and laid them out here and we're gonna go from top to bottom. We're gonna start with the green. And what I figured I would do is I will bring you just a little bit closer and I'm just gonna bring the canvas up to you because this one is a small painting. It's a little easier to see. So our green is our number one and it is just all throughout these little vines here down in the pumpkins, the grass down by our kitty cat, yeah. That's, that's everywhere. That's everywhere it is. So just a lot in our vines, right? And then our second one is this peach color, this 104. And that is our number two on the canvas. And you can see here, it's in all of our little pumpkins um, in the shading in their eyes. So in their mouths and noses. <laughs> and then I believe that's the only place I see it right here too, but I'm not really sure what it's what it's accentuating there. And any more? I don't think so. I think that was it. So then we have our number three and that's our yellow one here. And that one is just everywhere. And that's why I was like, let me just hold this up to you guys. So we have it here in our moon and stars, all of the stars in our lamp post here. Still looking for threes. Oh, looks like that's the only place I see them. <laughs> yeah, I think that's it. So just I'll, I'll appear in, in these light yellow parts. Then we have our number four. So number four is this, I would say light orange is kind of what I would call it. And my goodness, is that everywhere. So a lot of these uh, leaves here in the tree and then more leaves here. Then we have this little section here of the gnome's cap and his little sleeve, his elbow of his sleeve. And then, let's see, I'm just double checking. And then we have it in at least two of our pumpkins. So our second and fourth pumpkins here, all fours, <laughs> tons of fours. And then our last one, five, our white. This one is also in a lot of places. So we have it right here in our owl, in our owl's wings and eyes and belly. And then we have it in all of our stars. We just have like a little touch of it here, a touch of it here with our threes, a touch of it here. So, and then um, ev pretty much everywhere you see white, uh, it's the spider's eyes here. We have it in our sign. We have it in the body of this spider. It also makes up the eyes of both of the cats. So this one and this one. And then a majority of the gnome's beard here. We have it in the cat's tail and the cat's paw. And then again over here with the eyes. See what I mean by it's everywhere? Um, so I think that's the end of it there. But yes, the kitty's eyes, I love that. Anyway, um, so quick refresher. I'll do what I always do and I'll take our, if I can get them all. I'll take them and put them kind of where they are. Our cream, I'm gonna put down here with our pumpkins. And then this orange. 
I'll just kind of put it here next to his sleeve. That's the biggest chunk of it I see is, except for the pumpkins. And then our five is our white that we have all over there. And then our yellow way up top. Anyway, you get the idea. Um, yeah, the AB coverage is really nuts in this one. I'm really surprised, but I absolutely adore the colors. Um, I love that our kitty cats have bow ties. It just, it doesn't get much cuter than that. I <laughs> just, I can't, I love it so much. I'm just pulling this down so you don't have that glare. But, oh my goodness, it's so, so cute. I love it. Um, I also love how manageable this size is. Um, such a great size of a painting. Um, I feel like I could do this one in a couple weeks, which is a lot. <laughs> That's saying a lot from me, um, considering the fact that I am probably the slowest diamond painter on the planet. Um, <laughs> I'm the slowest multi-placing diamond painter on the planet, I can tell you that much. Um, cause I know a lot of you single placers out there, I get it. Like I was a diehard single placer for a long time too. And, um, yeah, it take, it would, would take me forever to do paintings. But now that I multi-place like a crazy person, it goes faster, but I'm still like uh, the slowest. Anyway, <laughs> it's just because I don't have time, you guys. Um, anyway, this will be my first one, um, that I do for fall slash Halloween next year. So I'm excited. It's really cute. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. If you're new here, I would love it if you'd hit that subscribe button. If you're new or you're old, hit that thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And uh, I will see you in the next one. I hope you had a good time. Like I said, this is my third of three Halloween unboxings. So no more. We are getting out of spooky season here and um, heading into some more fun holidays. So get excited. <laughs> anyway, I will see you in the next one. Bye.